Hello guys welcome back to TechDoz and in this video we will see how to find the first non-repeating character in a stream of characters. So let us look at the problem statement. Let us assume that we are given a stream of characters. That is first we will see this first character. Now we have this first character as our only string. Now what will be the first non-repeating character from the left hand side? In this case it will be A. Now when this second character comes in then your string becomes AB. In this case the first non-repeating character from the left hand side is A itself so you will just print here A. Now when C comes in then your entire string becomes ABC and the first non-repeating character from the left hand side is A. When this B comes in then your string becomes ABCB and the first non-repeating character from the left hand side is still A and you can see here that B has been repeated here. Now when another B comes in still only B is repeated and this A is the leftmost non-repeating character so this will get printed. Now when A comes in then you can see that A is repeated and B has also been repeated so the first character from the left hand side which has not been repeated is C so we will print here C. Now when we encounter the next character then it is C itself. Now every character has now been repeated. So when there is no character which has not repeated then we will just print minus 1. So I hope you are able to understand it. We are actually taking from the left hand side to the right hand side and this is an online algorithm. This is a stream of characters. This is not a string. Okay. So in this case I will assume that our alphabet size will be 26. This means that we will see characters from only A to Z and this is all small characters. So I hope you understand this alphabet size. Now a very intuitive way to solve this problem is to maintain a list. And in this list we will maintain the list of all the non-repeating characters from the left hand side. And we will maintain it in order. So suppose we saw this A first then we will just maintain here A as a non-repeating character. We saw B here we will maintain B. We saw C here, we will push C. Now again we saw B here. Then we will search it in our linked list and then we will delete this B since it has been repeated. Now we again see a B and so we will search it in our linked list. Now there is no way to find whether this B was repeated or not. So in order to keep track of what the elements have repeated, we can take a hash. So we can take a repeated array or a repeated hash which will be of the size of alphabet size which will be 0, 1, 2, 2, 25 and this will be initially initialized to false all values because we have not seen any character and as soon as a character repeats that is occur for two or more times then we will just make it true and so we can just look at this character and see whether it was repeated earlier so in this case b will be repeated and so it will be true so in this way we can keep track of all the repeated characters. Now one thing to note here is if an element is not repeated like if the character has occurred for the second time then in the repeated value it will have false. And so we will have to search this linked list linearly for this b whether it had occurred for one time or not. So this is a linear search and so it will take order of n time. But how can we optimize it? Actually this searching can be optimized if we can just use a hash a hash so that this hash will be storing the addresses of this entered nodes so what will be the size of this hash actually the size of this hash will be equals to alphabet size which will be from 0 to 25 so this will be storing the address of these values so this will be storing the address of the first node a this will be storing the address of this b this two will be storing the address of c now this hash can perform as a lookup table and we can just see this hash and make out whether this element had occurred once or not. Okay, so using this hash and repeated array, we can just optimize it and each of the queries can just take order of one time. Because we can check using the random access in an array and since these both are hash, so we can check in just O one time. So let us now solve an example in order to get a better understanding. You can see that we have used two hash that is two arrays. One it will be storing the address of the nodes in a doubly linked list and another one will be storing whether a given value is repeated or not. Then first we will see this first character in a stream. This is a stream. So we will see one character at a time. Now since we have seen A, we will check in this repeated array. This is not repeated. 
so when this is not repeated then we will check this address array you can see that a's value will be zero and how will we calculate it actually whatever the value is let's say the value is current the current character is current then we will just subtract the base value of the alphabet which is a and then if this current value is a then a minus a will give us the zero value if this current value is z then z minus a will give us 25 so this is how we calculate the values now once we have calculated this a will denote zero so repeated at zero is false and also address is zero is pointing to null because initially these all will be null pointers it is not repeated and it has never occurred so this repeated will actually be showing whether it has occurred for greater than equals to two times and this address will be showing whether it has occurred for once okay so both these are false and null so we will just insert it in our doubly linked list so a will get inserted and let's say its address is something x0 and this will be the head because you will be having a doubly linked list head as well as a tail pointer so head and tail will be pointing to the same location this repeated will still be false but then this address will now contain x0 value okay so from null it will be converted to x0 now this is pointing to this first character a now we will move on to the next character which is b now this b has never been repeated since it is false and since the address value is null this indicates that it has not occurred for at least one time so this is the first time we are saying so whenever we see a node for the first time we will make a new node okay and then we will update this tail value it will be having some address let's say it's x1 then this address value will be pointing to x1 now so this is pointing here okay this will be done and this falls under this third case when the elements are not repeated and they have not occurred for any number of time that is they are occurring for only the first time now what will be the first non-repeating character actually the first non-repeating character will always be pointed by our head because we are storing in chronological order so head will always be pointing to the first non-repeating character from left hand side if the head is null then in that case we will print minus one this indicates that there is no character in the stream presently which is not being repeated now we will move to c now you can see that c is also occurring for the first time since this value is false and also the address is null so we will make a new node c we will assign an address to it it will have an associated address now this will be pointing to this so null will be updated to x2 now what will be the first non-repeating character it will be head so it will be a itself now we will add here b okay this is the next value so i hope you are understanding this will be a doubly linked list i am not making the errors actually so when you see this b then you go to the repeated value it is still false now you go to the address value you can see that it is already pointing to some address x1 since it is false so it has not occurred for two times two or more times and since this address value is pointing to some address this indicates that there is at least one occurrence of this value since you are seeing the same value here that means we are repeating the value so this falls under this case too so when you are repeating the values then this false will become true so this b value repeated value will become true and then we will have to remove this in from our w link list so this b will get removed so this will get removed and now our w link list only contains a and c and from our hash value this will also be updated to null value okay now we move on to the next character which is b itself this b will be checked in our repeated array and you can see that this value is true so this falls under the first case if that current character is already repeated then we won't do anything so we move on to the next element and by the way for this character our head value is already pointing to a so the first non-repeating character will be a itself now you have encountered a so we will move on to the repeated it's false we move on to the address it is not null it is pointing to x naught so this indicates that a has already occurred one time so this is occurring for the second time so we will make the repeated as true and then we will remove it from our doubly linked list so this x naught will now become null and this a will be removed and this head will now be pointing to c 
and tail will also be pointing to C. Now for this case, the first non-repeating character will be C itself. Now we move on to the next character C. So for C, we have value false and the address for C is not null, it is pointing to X2. This means that C has occurred for at least one time already. And so we will make the repeated value as true because this is occurring for the second time. And now we will remove it from our doubly linked list. So our linked list is now empty and head will now be pointing to null. So in this case, when we are at this C, then our first non repeating character will print the value minus one because there is no character in the stream which has not been repeated. So this is the entire problem of finding the first non repeating character in a given stream of characters. I hope this pseudo code is pretty simple to understand it is self explanatory. The time complexity for each query is just O1 because looking this address hash and repeated hash is a random access and it takes only order of one time. So for n number of queries that is the string length the stream length of n we will have o n time. So the total time is o n. I hope I was able to make you understand this problem. If you have any type of doubt then feel free to comment below and I will try to help you as soon as possible. Like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video. See you in our next video. Thank you.